What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video, I want to try to answer as much questions as I can about this PureTech system and give you guys an update because a lot of you guys have asked me, Eddie, do you still have that PureTech system? Are you still using it? Does it still work good? How long has it lasted you? Let's just say so far, and I will show you when uh, the guy brought it here. If you guys remember, it's almost been a year and I just used it on my truck yesterday. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, so I went out, uh, met up with Joe and Kyle and I don't know, I hit like a swarm of bugs and it just, just demolished the whole front of the truck. Now, yesterday, I just washed the truck, did not dry it, I have not put a towel on her yet at all, just rinsed her down. What I do with the bugs, uh, with the headlights and the mirrors and stuff, I spray some Windex on here, but uh, you guys gotta remember, when you do do that, make sure you put some wax over it, because that Windex will take the wax off. And reason why I use Windex is because the Windex has ammonia in it, and ammonia breaks up the blood, so you don't have to sit and scrub all the bugs, uh, if there's bugs here, I'll put some Windex, you know, here and re-wax it again. It just makes it a lot easier to get the bugs off. Also on the mirror, same thing. I put Windex on there. Uh, on these, it comes off really, really good. Uh, I spray the Windex and hit it with the pressure washer and there's literally, you have no scrubbing at all. But this thing, I hosed it down. I mean, you can see, here's the water. It's still dripping. Here's water spots from it yesterday. Um, you can see on the upper control arm, it's still kind of dirty. Haven't wiped that down. So this thing has not had any towel on it since yesterday. Uh, the inside is probably, yeah, see in here, you can still see it's kind of still dirty right there. So obviously, you know, the PureTech, uh, I mean, barely gets in there, but doesn't really get rinsed off. Now, since last night, I have pulled it in the garage. I have not dried it, have not done nothing. And I mean, look at this. There is not one water spot on this truck. The system is incredible and it's still a year later, still using it. Now you get the occasion, you know, I don't know if you guys can see this little, you know, spot right there. Okay, no biggie, get a wipe down. But for physical water spots, I mean, look at, there is nothing. Headlights, here's the back end of her, nothing. Look at that booty. She's just clear. See this little bit? Right here, I'll give that a wipe right there. Or I'll uh, put, some, yeah, I guess I'll just wipe it off. It'll come right off. But other than that, she, I mean, is spotless. You will get some on the mirrors like this. Hey, how you doing? But you see those little ones on the mirrors like that? You will get that on the paint, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, this system, guys, is really an amazing system. And now, I got this system, I'm gonna show you guys. Here's the tanks, again, PureTech, if you guys wanna reach them. There's their phone number right there. Now, they have smaller bottles. You don't have to get these massive bottles, uh, nor do you have to get the two bottles. I just went two bottles because, well, when this spot free goes in here, comes out the other one, actually gets polished, then comes out the second one. So I have, you know, extreme spot free coming out of this thing. And this guy brought these two tanks here Here's the delivery date, 5-14-2018. So it's almost been a year since he has brought these. And how you can tell is when you plug, uh, plug these tanks in, these things light up. When they go red, that's it, they're done. When they go green, they're still good. So as of now, uh, almost a year, it's still green, still spot free. Um, but you know, like I said, you will get occasional, I'm sure, like see this? This little bug mark right here. You get stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously that's just so you're not, I'm not gonna stick the pressure washer all the way up there and try to get it with the uh, pressure washer. What I'll do here is I'll just grab uh, this towel, use my uh, Lucas Speed Wax here, spray it on, and I try not to, you know, I don't wanna rub hard and try to get any swirls, but I don't know where that, see, right here, this little bug. Just do this, and that's it. Done. Yeah, there's another one up here. Just like that, give it a little wipe. Oh, this one's gonna need a little more. You gotta put a little more elbow grease in this one. And that's it. Not too difficult. And you're done. Now on the uh, windows, you know, you can scrub them as hard as you can, doesn't matter. Um, it's not gonna, you know, you're not gonna hurt the window. And monthly charge, uh, there is a monthly charge on the, I forget, I'm not sure what it is. I just have them automatic, they charge a credit card. It's not that much though, I wanna say it's probably 15 bucks. 
you know, a month. Uh, if that, I will try to get an exact number for you guys. I'll look, but it's not expensive at all for this system. Now, as you guys know, I used to use the little uh, spot-free ones, the blue, I don't even remember what they're called, but the little uh, blue ones, I sold that to Chris. Uh, you guys know C. Bailey. And uh, I don't know if he's liking it. I don't even know if he uses it. I will get an update for you guys if he likes it. But the problem with those, they're a lot smaller, and you got to replace those little beads or whatever's in the canister uh, more often than mine. You know, like I said, these things have been a year. I have never had to replace them, and they're still going good. Same thing goes for the Viper here. I mean, washed her up yesterday. This thing, I try never to put a towel on her unless I really, really have to, but I mean, nothing. Not one spot. This is a true, true spot-free system. Same thing goes with the window, the rims, nothing. Did not touch them, didn't even scrub the rims. The rims, uh, if you guys want what works really, really good for the rims, I would get this stuff. It is uh, by Adams Polish. It's called Eco Wheel Cleaner. And all I do is spray this on, let it sit for, you know, 30, 40 seconds. You can let it sit up to a minute if you want, doesn't matter. And I just uh, use, this is the pressure washer. You guys always ask me, what pressure washer do I use? It is a Subaru push to start, that's right. Uh, or you can pull it if it fails. But it is a push to start pressure washer, 3100 PSI, puts out 2.4 gallons a minute. I believe this was, I want to say three or 400 bucks. I got it from Costco. She's about three years old now. And I've never had a problem with her. Uh, runs great. You know, you just plug it in and charge the battery for the push to start. Other than that, that's about it. That's what I use for the rims. If you need to wipe it down, you know, you want to take a towel. These Kirkland ones are okay, but they're like a one-time use. These things, I notice, uh, they like die. You know, they're not, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but these are not a high quality towel. So if I were to wipe the truck down a couple spots, uh, that's it. I won't use the towel again. I will uh, either throw it away or give them to somebody. You can see here's a bucket of these towels that I, I'll i use them for an example, like I'll uh, wash my golf clubs, I'll use those towels. Or I'll wash, you know, I don't know, wipe this chair down. If metal gets on, I'll use those towels. But for the truck, I use them one time. They're not, not really high end of a towel. So if you guys got like a nice vehicle out there or if you guys just got it, uh, you know, all of your uh, uh, paint on there, paint corrected, no swirls, nothing like that. If you want to keep it a swirl free environment, I should say on your paint, I would go uh, with, you know, some of these Adams towels. These are extremely, extremely soft, but yeah, you see they're nine bucks for one towel. I got this whole thing at Costco. I don't even remember how much they are, but I don't know, 20 bucks or something, and you get, you know, a bunch of them. And, and like I said, they're not bad towels, they just don't last. Here's another Adams towel right here. This one's even softer, uh, but this one is, is a little more pricier. So it all depends, guys on you know, how much money you wanna spend, how good do you wanna keep you know, your truck, your car, whatever clean. Uh, you, guys, you guys know I'm anal about my stuff. I like to keep it you know, extremely clean, so I don't like to go cheap on the product. Uh, but the main product that I use uh, just to spray it down is the Lucas Quick Mist, and I'll use the Adams uh, Eco Wheel Cleaner. That works really, really good. Also another good product you guys have heard me talk about in a couple past videos is Renegade. This is a really good product right here, this spray wax. Um, reason why I like it is just because it's really, really thick. You can see the wax that's in this thing. It comes out, and when it does come out, you can see that there's wax coming out of this thing. This is the one I use for vinyl and rubber. I use this a lot on the Can-Am. Uh, what's nice about this, because when we go to the desert, this sand does not stick to the plastic. And yes, guys, it is official. Such a sad day, but unfortunately, we got so much stuff going on uh, these weekends coming up, and... Desert season is over. It sucks. I'm sorry to say we had to take the paddles off. We had to put the stock tires back on the Can-Am. Uh, this is originally what it does come with is these, uh, I don't know what these are. I think they're big horns or something. Yeah, the big horn 2.0s. Uh, you know, they're, they're not bad. I mean, they're just not good for uh, the desert for what we do. But I take the paddles off because I don't like it sitting on the paddle and I put these back on. I will put this in the other garage though. I like to take the weight off too. Take the weight off the springs and the shocks. Just so you don't wear the springs out quicker. But it's okay. We still got a lot of stuff. We got Thunderbolt Racing coming up. Uh, we got river coming up, so we're gonna have to get the boat back here. So we're gonna have to do some camping trips too. You know, you still use a trailer. I don't like to let my trailer sit all year 
uh, cause that's when stuff goes wrong. But also guys, um, I believe, I don't know the exact date, but I'm gonna be in Hawaii pretty soon uh, for about a week. So if there's any subscribers out there that live in Hawaii, please let me know because I still want to get some content for you guys. I don't know if I have any uh, Hawaii subscribers, but if you do, DM me on Instagram. I'll put my link right here, Duramax King 2500 uh, and Maybe we can shoot some videos out there so I can keep the content going for you guys. And maybe, uh, who, never, who knows, maybe there's a crazy truck in Hawaii uh, that I'll meet. But other than that, I just want to give you a quick update on the PureTech system. I still love it. I still would highly, highly recommend you guys purchase it if you don't want to deal with water spots. So that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know, comment down below if any of you guys have the PureTech system. Um, I found out Kyle, actually, the truck that we did yesterday, he uses it for his black truck and he says it's amazing. He loves it. He'll never go back to anything else. But let me know, comment down below. I'm curious if any of you guys also have that system and see if it's still working good for you guys. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.